So in this week's Torah portion, Vayit Hanan, uh, I want to touch upon one verse. You know, we're told, Raki shamer lecha vegomer pen tishkach et advarim. Right, be very, very careful not to forget these things. And it's a sort of summary of, of the commandments and the Torah. And Nachmanidi starts by bringing Rashi, right? The Pshat, what does this sentence mean when Moses tells the Israelites? According to Rashi, it means be very careful to, 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 uh, to perform the commandments exactly the way they were given, right? Don't forget them, don't try and change them, you know, to do them exactly the way they are. I mean, don't forget, it's very important, the, 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 the sort of the, the, the instructions. And Nachmanidi says, This is simply not true. He says, Actually, what Moses is saying here is be very careful not to forget where you got the commandments from, from Mount Sinai. He says there's something far more fundamental here. It's ensuring that for the Jewish people, you connect this, this, this belief, this way of life, with it being given through God, Mepigvura, at Mount Sinai. And he says one of the reasons we have this, when you think about it, is so that what happens if, say, if you would have said it was just given from, you know, by Moses, then he's a prophet. One day another prophet, quote unquote, can come and say, look, there have been changes. But once you have this tradition that you're giving your children this emphasis that, that everyone was given, we, we, we you know, we, we, uh, um, we saw sounds, you know, we heard colors and so on. This, this idea that we were all in Mount Sinai, this is the important thing not to forget because this ensures the continuity of observing the commandments. And perhaps one can understand that sort of secondary from this is knowing exactly how you should perform them, which is just as important for Nachmanides, but he's saying what we're talking about here is understanding where you received them and who gave them to you. Thoughts on the Torah portion of Vayit Hanan. Shabbat Shalom.